postcard, carefree. Jan continues the story of her solo weekend while in her 40s and married with children. She writes, When I arrived in Newport, Rhode Island, the Cliff House had just received a room cancellation and I took it. While it was being readied, I ordered breakfast on the patio and basked in the sunshine and ocean air. I still remember everything about the room. A window seat that looked out at the sea, the noticeable slant of the wood floor, the odors from the nearby kitchen, and the drifting music from the band playing in the lounge below that kept my senses engaged well until after midnight. I loved it. I spent the afternoon at Block Island, a place I had never visited. Everything seemed magical. The boat trip over and back, the seafood lunch at an outdoor beachside restaurant, browsing in the shops, and the wonderful sense of discovery. I bought one souvenir to remind me of Block Island and this weekend, a small balancing toy, a fisherman with a fish dangling at the end of his long line. For 30 years, it has stood at the top of my bookcase, and I have carefully packed and unpacked my little fisherman with each move. How symbolic he is, reminding me of a time when I was desperately trying to balance my busy life with a need to find myself among everyone I was taking care of, personally and professionally. The next morning, I walked around the pier area and shopped before driving home feeling lighter and more carefree than I had in a long time. I had enjoyed an entire weekend, pleasing only myself. When I returned home, I was ready to pick up my busy life where I had left it, and there was more of me to give. Pearl, take time for yourself. If you feel guilty eating lunch away from your desk or lingering in a bath, let the deprogramming begin. <laughs>